Hebrews chapter 12. As for us, verse 1, we have all of these great witnesses who encircle us like clouds, so we must let go of every wound that has pierced us. And the sin which we so easily fall into, then we'll be able to run life's marathon race with passion and determination for the path has been already marked out before us. Then and only then will we be able to run the race when we let go of every wound. When we get a redemptive revelation of that wound and see that what the enemy meant for evil, God meant for good. It's fuel in your tank, not an anchor tied around your ankle. Let God redeem it. Let him cure every wound. And let him cure your sin. Let him take out the impurities. Another curing process is how you cure metals. We need to be healed and we need to be set apart. We need to let him cure us because our circumstances and our situations and our battles that we think we lost have left wounds on us that are preventing us from running. And they have changed our makeup and our wiring and they have caused us to be prone to sin because we've compensated for pain with sin. And we have to let him cure us. Let him take away the root. Let him take away the pain and let him take away the behavior that is destructive and keeping you from the promises of God for your life. Let that battle be cured and see the redemptive purposes of God in it.